Indonesia comprises thousands of individual islands, and this geography has led to many unique and isolated habitats. These places have evolved their own distinct species with endemic flora that occurs nowhere else on Earth. We're heading to the large island of Sumatra to see some threatened plants that will absolutely knock your socks off. The region of Bengkulu in South Sumatra is blanketed in rainforest that gets thicker as you climb into the mountains. Holiden is a local plant conservationist and he's taking us to see one of Indonesia's most elusive and iconic plants, the Rafflesia arnoldi, the largest flower in the world. It can grow to be almost a meter wide and weigh over six kilos. Jadi Rafflesia arnoldi ini uh, ketika mulai muncul dari awal uh, sebesar katakan sebesar kutil itu sampai mekar butuh waktu dua tahun lebih kalau kondisi miring karena dia di kemiringan jadi cuma bertahan cuma delapan hari uh, mekar mekarnya tapi kalau kondisi letak bunga berdiri datar itu delapan hari itu masih kelihatan segar dan bisa bertahan sampai dua minggu with no roots stem or leaves Rafflesia arnoldi is a parasite that grows directly and exclusively from its host plant. This climbing woody vine, Tetrastigma leucostophyllum. It's known as the corpse lily, and the central chamber is full of fly pollinators, attracted to its very unique smell. Punya aroma tersendiri yaitu aroma amis darah itu amis darah. This forest is home to another species of rare and smelly plant, and Holiden is taking us up further into the mountains to see some. This is his family's land, and over the last 26 years, they've turned it into a conservation area to protect the botanical giant of the jungle, the Titan Arum. At their peak, they can get over three meters tall and weigh over 70 kilos. This one was in full bloom a week or so ago. So while it's still a giant, it's now looking a little past its former glory. But Holiden is meticulous with keeping records of these incredible plants. The Titan Arum only flowers for two days every four years. It looks like one huge flower, but the tall spathe is actually lots of tiny flowers clustered together. Jadi amor bupalus titanum ini memang langka ya yang jenis dilindungi endemik Sumatera. Aroma uh, apa amor bupalus ini memang sedikit menyengat ya. Seperti uh, bau ikan asin atau katakanlah seperti bangkai tikus aromanya. In non-flowering years, it often grows into a tall tree-like structure which is actually just one huge leaf with lots of small leaflets. There are only about a thousand Titan Arums left in the wild. These plants rely on the ecosystems of Sumatran forests, which are under extreme pressure from land clearing for domestic and international industries like coffee, rubber, and palm oil. Hilangnya habitat ini, karena di Bengkulu sendiri inilah yang dibangga-banggakan Amor Bupalus Titano, Rafflesia arnoldi, sudah banyak yang terancam dan banyak yang punah. Over decades, Holiden has rescued dozens of these plants from areas threatened by land clearing and relocated them here for their protection. Punya rasa tak ketakutan yang luar biasa akan nanti ini hilangnya karena generasi yang akan datang mereka tidak akan tahu. Bahkan mungkin dunia pun tidak akan tahu kalau tidak ada yang sanggup melestarikan ini. Makanya dengan berat hati ya kami mengambil lahan ini menjadikan lahan ini sebagai lahan konservasi segelintir orang yang mau berbuat untuk melestarikan ini. <SILENCIO>